So what we're going to do now is remove the chest. So what I've done is I've removed the first one. Just wanted to make sure. And now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So push the chair all the way back. There you go. And then get one of these because the drill is not strong enough. So you will need a 6mm socket to hold one of these. This is a size 6 and where is that box gone? So this one's a size 6, basically fits in there. And I'll show you which one, what size 6, because then the torque screw, couldn't seem to find it, but this actually worked. And then what I'll do is use the drill to make it faster. There you go. That's the first one. And put this one back. Manual. So basically you're just going to do that for the four screws. So I'll just show you the other one, which is just there. So I've just taken the other bolt off, so you can see here. Um, don't worry, it's, they are bent, it's not broken. That's how they are. So I've just taken the two front ones off, so I'm gonna leave those there. And now we're gonna go to the back. So push it all the way. Get your manual one and those drill ones. So we've got one bolt here and another bolt just over here. So you're just gonna do the same thing. Just gonna Open it manually. Okay, that's one screw out, and now we just do the same thing for the other one. So I've just taken both of these off, you can see I've just moved it. So what I'm going to do is put the seat in the middle so that it's a bit easier to take out there you go and then what we're gonna do is try to tip this over so we need to open the seat belt part so i just grab this so before we get to that we need to take the electrics out which is underneath the carpet here and what you do is just literally pull that up there you go pull the black lever up and out and then there's a little tab in here which just holds it so just gonna pull that out give it a little wiggle so i've just taken that tab off so now you can see it's just all clear now that hole there so now you can cut that put that back so this is the wiring so that's for the heated seats so this had the heated seats and obviously the leather one we've got is also got heated seats so now we will tackle this part now so we just need to open that you'll see underneath here so there's a torque screw and i believe that was a t40 if i am correct yeah t40 t30 sorry t30 so we're just going to get that open since i've got Make sure you don't lose that. Okay. I need to open the carpet. So, before we do that, let's quickly take the seatbelt out. Right? So, this clip, uh, you just gotta push it. Just gonna give it a little wiggle. There you go, and it just comes out. Obviously, try to be careful uh, that you don't pull the wire too hard. So, you've got this orange cable, so literally, if you've got like fingernails or some sort, which I don't have, there you go. Just pull it out. There you go. Let's put that on. So now what we need to do is get this bolt off. So that is, I believe it was the same one as I've been using before. So I will let you know 
what it was. It's just size six, I know, but just need to give you the actual detail. I need to do that with a manual. So now I'll just open this up. Once it's loosened a bit, then you can just use the drill. There you go, block that. We're losing this. There you go. So you will need this for the next seat. Okay, that is sorted. And now we just take the seat off. So this is how it was. So I just went inside here basically, just gonna push it out. And then when it goes back in, it'll just go back in like that. So what we're going to do is now going to remove the center console. So I'm going to take this part out. So it's just hold it by some tabs. As you can see, there we go. And it's this screw that we want to take out to remove this. So you'll have four of these. So obviously one on the opposite side. So one there. This one, and then if you go to the other side, okay, so now Hey right, guys, sorry I forgot to take the video of this part. So basically what we did was pull this one out. So it just literally just pulls out. Left to right. Left to right. So you can see. So you push that one and then it comes out like that. Because you can see that goes inside there, the two clips. And that's the two outer ones. So outer one first, then that part comes out. And then what I did was literally hold the gator, pull it up, and then use this. And just uh, unclip all the clips with this. Put it up. And then same thing again. Unclip this part. Sorry, I had the screws here, took the two screws out, so that was a... It was one of... There you go. So it was one of these, which was inside there. So one there and one there on the opposite side. Took that out with the torque screw and then literally just pulled that one out. So now what I'm going to do is take this one out. There you go. And then just unclip this. There you go. And then I'm just gonna try to take. Try to pause it. So what we're gonna need to do is take this part off as well. So I had to do some fiddling about. So. I had to like kind of just like push it push it push it and then you can see there are some tabs here so you can see there's one tab here one tab there one tab there another tab here same goes for there and here as well so there's quite a bit of tabs and you don't have to take the whole thing out i've just kept this on so now what i'm going to do is just literally take that out like that and now the center console I'll come out so you can see there's some wire rings just there so from the bottom here you just got to take these out so I've just taken this one off there's just a clip here so just take that one off I think it will just make life more easier and then you can see here there's a clip and I think it is a... So I've just unclipped this part. So if I just take this out, it'll probably be easier to show you guys. 
Okay, there's still more wirings left, but so just wanted to really show you. So it was this brown one. So what I did was in between the black one and this one. So you can see there's a clip right there. I just pushed that in. So pushed it in like that and just pushed it out. It's just a micro USB cable in there. And what we're gonna do is take these ones out as well. So pull, push the black in and then lift it up. So it was just this cable that I took out and you can see it's now fully off. It's just literally that. So this controls the handbrake and everything else, the cigarette lighter and everything. So underneath you'll just see all the wiring still there, which you don't have to touch. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to start getting the new one, start fitting it in. Thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys are enjoying this project. Um, so I'll be releasing another one as well. So. I hope this is helping you guys out so far as well and um, obviously with the previous one you've seen me take off the door cards and everything so hopefully this will help you guys as well so if you wanted to try out yourselves then hopefully this video should help you guys out as well and um, yeah so hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed it and please do like share and subscribe